Hi everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. Incredible as it sounds, it's going to be a warm sunny day in London and it's my first time riding in shorts this year. That means that I could uh, get my nice summer kit out and I have to shave my legs. I know. It's another great day. I reached with my friends on Moloko Cycling. It's a Canyon Demo Day. I already tried a Nairod at the previous event, but today I want to do an ultimate to ultimate comparison. Yes, this one is my all time favorite. It's a definite bike that I adore. And I just want to see if the newer version can live up to the hype. It's almost inevitable that the Nairod receives all the attention. As soon as you look at the bike with the profile tubing, it reminds you of a race machine, while the Ultimate in the look is a bit more subdued. It's the sensible choice and uh, as usual people love extremes and uh, exciting choices, so it's uh, yes inevitable that the Ultimate doesn't receive the same love. The iRod might be faster, but you have to have the power to get it going. And if you do want maybe one bike that can do it all, maybe the Ultimate is a better choice. But we will see. Not today, my friend. Not today. And I need to thank Sirocco for this uh, great kit. I'm in love with these bibs. The color, I don't know, salmon. Whatever it is, I love the combination with the black and uh, yes, very comfortable as well. And what I really like are these lightweight arm warmers. Very useful because even in a day like that, where it's going to be warm, at the beginning in the morning is a little bit chilly. You can pack them away. It's a great piece of kit that I find it extremely useful. As always, guys, you can use my powerful link to be teletransported to Sirocco website and all the prices are going to be further reduced by another 10%. Yes, on top of the discounts, they always run. So it's uh, even better value. And thank you again for your support. It's always appreciated. Morning. How are we doing? Good. Welcome to the cycling park. How are you? How are we doing? Good man. Yeah, good. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, this is where you meet, you know, other good YouTubers. I mean, professional Matthew. YouTubers. I mean, you're doing great. And actually, I'm actually quite angry with you because you smashed a time on uh, Sakalobra that I can only dream of. So yeah, well done to you. Thank you. I, I think I got. I don't want to say I got lucky, but it was a good day, and it was cooler. So anyone that goes out now, it's going to be like 28 degrees. We were like 20 degrees. It's I know. Perfect. You're going back out though, huh? <laughs> yeah, I will. Target time. I think below 40 is my target for now, but then, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I think you're being cautious. I think you got that in the bag. <laughs> Thank you, man. Hello, my friend. So, some of my Italian friends, again, I'm trying to transition into an English person, so I'm oh, no halfway... No, <laughs> no, because I'm halfway in a summer kit, while my yeah. Italian friends still stick to the fully kitted. <laughs> really, Canyon put a great effort here. They came in uh, full force with so many bikes. Buongiorno. Look, buongiorno, look at that, good some other you, influencers in the wild. Look, look what I'm trying, <laughs> new ultimate. This is my favorite paint job in the ultimate. Yes, it looks, looks fantastic. Are you trying anything today or just riding? Uh, no, just riding today. Just this is going to be another strong guy in Mallorca, which I'm going to try to <laughs> hang on to the wheel. All right, let's join Kram for this spin. Yeah. off in this uh, beautiful Ultimate SLX, so the lighter frame version with Ultegra DA2, which is incredibly nice, of course, and the profile wheel, so it's a nice package. Usual playground, Richmond Park. It's a bit windy, and I haven't got my Wahoo with me, so I'm not going to compare any segment. But yes, just the sensations, and I'll be back on my rim brake Ultimate to see the difference straight away. So. I'll have a quick moment with the bike. Yes, I'm a little bit late, so before the Canyon guys send the Dobermans to find me. What I really like about this bike is, of course, the good balance. The DA2 Ultegra is a joy. It's unbelievably responsive. The new cockpit is very comfortable, but there is a small but. 
The small but is that this bike, like the iRoad, has got a little bit more inertia than I will want to. Maybe I come from a different platform, but when I push the pedals on this, it does feel a little bit heavier. Once it's on the go, of course, it's very enjoyable. Brakes are extremely powerful. For me, too powerful because I'm not yet used to the force that you need to exert to these levers. I'm uh, actually torn. What I'm not entirely sure about is that if the price you pay for the modern technology advantages and the benefits of these brakes is a little bit heavier bike with the initial sluggish response, then I might go full on and get an eye road because of course together with the heavy weight you also have the advantage of aerodynamics on the flats so i can understand in a way why this bike maybe is not getting the love and appreciation from riders because maybe in my mind i haven't got the responsiveness i had before then i might as well gain in different departments that maybe the iRoad could cater better for here i am again um, the canyon guys were so kind to let me have the iron as well after the ultimate it must be in my mind but if i think of a lightweight climbing bike to me it has to be rim brake will not be able to find anything better than my ultimate rim i should stop and find direct comparisons however for a modern bike with discs the situation is different because you do need to put into context that the sensations are different that responsiveness is not there but you do have other advantages and maybe to fully embrace those a design where aerodynamics are more prevalent might be better and overall more efficient so it's not difficult to see where most uh, successful bikes out there uh, either aero bikes or a hybrid between the two so maybe that's the solution and uh, the best setup for a disc brake bike great ride in the aero as always it definitely feels like a more focused package yes harder to climb on the aero than the ultimate but overall maybe this is the one uh, in my particular situation that I could uh, look for because yes I will still be riding my ultimate rim brake which is you know like an extension of my body but it's uh, difficult to deny that this eye rod has got really unbelievable speed feels like a race machine and it does have within the modern bike maybe the edge on uh, some of the brands However, and this is comes the caveat, if you don't have my power or Mathieu's power, <laughs> it might be difficult to get the most out of it. Yes, the inertia is there, the wide tube sections, if you do get crosswinds, it's not easy to, to progress and you get shuttered all the way. So it is a bike that can get you faster as long as you can uh, put your hard work on it coming back to the ultimate yes if you want to choose a modern bike and uh, you're not the strongest rider then maybe it's a well-balanced package but maybe it doesn't move your heart like this one does right. time to say of Fidesen back on my ultimate for really a true professional back-to-back -back test and as soon as I put the power on the pedals straight away the pickup and the responsiveness is different and uh, yes it feels more alive I've done this three times now it's very difficult to answer which bike is the best there's no a clear winner apart from my one <laughs> well yes because to me lightweight is still the winning combination with a realistic budget this bike is the best you can get as long as you live in a country where it never rains not here so moving forward for me maybe the iRod would be 
the best option like I did with the velo build a lightweight and a narrow bike is the perfect combination to enjoy different terrains but enough talking about bikes I'm going to be back at Moloko headquarters for a well-deserved pizza here we go again Looks nice. Well done. <laughs> Saying bye to Paris and Max as well. Do you want Paris to swear on your YouTube channel? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just to... <laughs> no. 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 I don't even know how to beep it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks again to Canyon and Moloko Cycling for the great event. I could try out the bikes and uh, pretend I'm a professional bike reviewer. And also the pizza was great. I had a masterclass in coffee making from Paul. So all great. Nice people, nice bike, wonderful sunshine in London. What can I ask for more? Guys, let me know in the comments what you think it could be the best move for me to get a modern bike. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, ciao!